So, okay, so we have a definition between the in vitros and the in vivos. The in vitros is a medical experiment or a study that we perform only a laboratory dish or a test strip. So that's why it's test strip. Or we call them in Vietnam, trong ống nghiệm. And in contrast with the in vivos, it describes a medical experiment or a test that is performed on a living organism. Sometimes we perform on uh, mouse rodents or in rodents, and in monkeys, in the dog. And some kinds, we have some experiment in, 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 in humans, but very rare. <laughs> in uh, the safe experiments we performed in human also. So we have <clears throat> in vitro, in, in the gist or in the or test strip, and in vivo in the living organisms. So today's when we talk about the cell cultures, it means is we studies about the in vitro. And in parallel with in vitro, uh, when we perform the experiments, we also are extrapolate in the in vivo experiment if, uh, if we think that is needed, or we have the uh, strong or um, results in in vivo. Okay, so for the next the cell cultures, what about the cell cultures? Or the, is actually the in vitro cell cultures? So uh, the cell cultures is the process by which a precarious eukaryotic cells or the plant cells are grows under the controlled uh, conditions or in the artificial environments. We call it artificial because we can culture something that's out of the living organisms. Um, so the histories of the cell cultures begins in the 19th century. Ringers he developed the first solutions, a steel table for maintain the beatings of an isolated animal heart out of the bodies. Cells are um, the ringer solutions is a solution of the servers are salt uh, uh, dissolved in the water for the purpose of cre creating a uh, isotonic solutions. Um, so they are relative to the body fluid of an animal. So the Ringer solution is typically contains the sodium chloride, potassium chloride, um, calcium chloride, so, or sodium bicarbonate. Um, or in, with the last year to balance the pH. And other conditions that can induce the chemical fear source for the cells are like our ADVs, um, as well as antibiotics and antifungers. And um, in 1885, Winham Ross removed the section of the um, medullary plate of the embryonic chickens and tamed it in warm saline solution for 13 days. So it's the first time that as humans can establish the principle that tissue could live is outside of the bodies. Our um, medullary plates like the tấm tủy của cái mô gà đấy, mô của con gà. So he can cultures for 13 days. And in our, we have the Harrisons, it's the first person who successfully grows in our artificial tissue cultures. Or for the polio and Nobel Prize. Um, generally, the polio is like my leader. What do you know about the polio? Have you been? Of of kinds of so, the um, yes, a deadly disease. So, or polio, this kills by uh, suffocations, and but 
analyze the uh, COVID-19 disease, they is not damage the uh, your lungs, but they can attack the motor neurons in the spinal cord and weakening the um, communication between the central nervous system and the muscles. So it make the patients it cannot breathe. And when you are self or is in the internet, have you ever read about the man with the iron lungs? So here is the polio disease in the 19th century is the death, yes, the iron lungs. A man, man's Paul Alexander, he's now, I, I don't know, he's always more than 70 years old. And he's one of the last person in the world still even, uh, use these iron lungs. So when or in the patient's lot ability to use their muscles, this means that they cannot reach um, to maintain the life of these the patients. Um, they are people creates one thing that we call the iron lung to help the patient can breach. Um, now this man is on the last person in the world using these kinds of, of our structures. So that's because it's deadly disease. Um, in 19, or um, more or uh, around 1930s, or uh, they can culture the this guy the polyvirus in the living monkeys, and then they can extract some or um, uh, extract this virus and create the vaccines. But it's not really work well because. I, uh, you know, this is, or uh, we meet some kinds of allergies, and in our uh, 1950s, there is Nobel Prize awards, um, as uh, Nobel Prize awards was <coughs> there's three um, scientists, uh, John Anders, Thomas Wellers, and Frederick Robbins, we win the Nobel Prize in 1954. Uh, uh, because they can, uh, they discoveries a method to grow the virus in the monkey kidney cell cultures. Uh, it's not in the whole body, it's in the whole um, monkeys, but in the kidney cell. Uh, actually, there is mistake here. Or um, tissue culture is not the cells, not really the cells. And by this, these polio vaccines were first available in 1950, um, in uh, 1955. And also, uh, due to this kinds of the vaccines in, I think it's in uh, 1979, uh, uh, the US is the first country who available or uh, who um, has been uh, polio free. So, uh, so around 1970s, um, or humans is started to develop a mammalian cell culture techniques. So, for 1970s, we can start to culture the animal cells outside of the living uh, organisms. So, first about the animal cell cultures. In this uh, lesson, we study about the animal cell cultures, bacterial cell cultures virus how, how do we culture the virus and the last um how we can culture the plant cells so the first the animal cell cultures we just discovered the techniques to culture the animal cell from 1970s or 1970s to culture the animal cells we have a two categories of the cells primary cells and also established cells What about them? About the primary cells, we obtain this kind of cell directly from the donor tissue. Uh, so this means they are non-transformed, non-immortalized cell direct from the tissues. And we only able to divide a finite number of times. So you know that's in the lessons about the telomeres. Each time the cell divides, the telomeres is lost. So is leading to the cell days or this or leading to the cell senescence without what they about. Um, so uh, actually it's for when we culture this in the lab, like or sometimes I isolated the uh, 
the uh, bone marrow cells for um, mouse. And I just used a culture is for uh, one week uh, to perform an experiment and then I trust them. I do not maintain this kind the primary cells. And we also need to put some uh, hormone to grow for the cell to grow. And the next uh, second type of cells, we have the established cell life. What are them? When the primary cells are obtained directly from the donor tissues, the cell lines can be delivered from the clinic tumors or create for um, transforming the uh, primary um, primary cells with the virus, oncogenes, or chemical treatment. So these kinds of or reagents and treatment can get on the checkpoint in uh, the cell cycles. So this checkpoint ensure that the cell will meet the appropriate requirement in order to move on the next stage of making the daughter cells. So here we can obtain them from space a tumors, patients or tumors. So they are cancer cells or they can transform the viral oncogenes or chemical treatment into the primary cell to make them become the established cell life. So these established cell life can able uh, to grow or um, identify nicely and we can cultures use them for a long time uh, for a long time to perform some research. And here is so here's a uh, one example of the first established cell life, the HeLa cells. Uh, these are cell lines more or uh, or in um originally uh, cultivated from a tumor cell obtained from um, a patient who died of the um, cervical cancer. Ung thư ở tế bào này là được lấy từ một bệnh nhân bị ung thư cổ tử cung ạ và đây là cái dòng tế bào đầu tiên dòng established cell đầu tiên mà con người phát hiện ra và um, so or there now is, is or in this quite important in technology for research the cell biology viruses and uh, medicines um, and now we can establish numbers of cell lines and uh, more than six decades later the cells still alive and being used for medical treatment and even today um, we still use Wiley's in many area of research and actually in my laboratories we still have these kinds of cell life and our, so for example in this week I still perform the experiment in these kinds of cell life or in, actually, um, besides I have a numerous type of cell life in my laboratories but I have also this the first established cell life they still use in my laboratories and also are these numbers of laboratory on, are in, uh, in the world after 70 years. And to culture the cells, or is oh, what you are, um, so you think that if we want to culture something out of your bodies, what uh, you need to provide for them to survive. You need to provide what things for a um, a cell. The growth environments. You need to create something that's similar to the environments inside of our our bodies, right? So to our um, culture our ears and other things. When we culture the cell, there's two types of cells. One is adherence. The cell is stick in the bottoms of the culture disc. Like this, we call the adherent cells. And uh, another type of cells that in suspense and culture because they, they do not attack in the bottom. They are free floating in this medium. We call this suspense and cell. So for example, we have a blood cell type. Most of the blood cells, they are suspense and cells. And to culture these kinds of cells out of your bodies, we need to provide them the medium to survive or um, the environments that's, that's 
familiar with the mediums inside of your bodies and we call the culture media. So the dung dung is like So you mean that both types of uh, cell cultures need yes. uh, need the the cultural medium? Is that right? Yes, both of them. So when we want to culture the cell out of your bodies, you need to provide the environments to provide the culture media for them. So we need to supply our um, we have here the culture media, and this is basic culture media. And in heroes, we have we provide them the amino acids, inorganic salt, uh, vitamins um, added in this culture of <clears throat> meteors. And also, we have some vital supplements um, compiled. And we take these guys from the serums of the uh, feather bovines and from cows, okay, cows, bovine is cows. And they will supply the macromolecules, lipids, and some growth factors is important. Growth factor is from the FBS. We call the FBS. And we take them from the cows Cells are uh, today is not really are in is it really familiar. You start to use this ABS in so many lab, but the ABS is collected from the bovine fetus, so there is a lot of uncertainties regarding to the use of ABS because we don't know these are uh, exact compositions in this ABS. The huyết thanh bào, so the compositions we do not know well. And or is always subjected to a lot of variance or um, um, variate uh, variation of uh, variance and it, uh, affect the cell cultures. And our cells, we need to keep the pH of these our um, mediums is from um, uh, 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 around seventy uh, around seven. So we need to add some common uh, buffering system to maintain the culture media in the rice pH. So we have a sodium bicarbonate or we have a hepase buffer system. And our cells will also add well, pH indicators, the phenol red in this. So it normally is in the rest. In some cases, it turning into yellow. This means that pH is changed is maybe due to the overgrowth of these of the cells. So we need to replace these kinds of mediums uh, to the fresh ones. Our is now we cannot use the meals instead. It's from our in the serums. It, so they are also contain the growth factors in numerous of the macromolecules and lipids and so on. So I wish that we can use the meals air instead because the ABS is quite expensive. You know, this five or 500 milliliters of the ABS we use in the cell culture is, is <clears throat> more than tens, um, tens million dollars. 10 million Vietnam dome is more than 10 million Vietnam dome, so it's quite expensive. So I wish we can use the meals. The growth factor is it's in here. And to culture the cells, we need to maintain in the correct temperatures. So in the cold blooded animals, uh, another size or of the um, temperatures we can counter, but for mammalian cells around 70 degrees Celsius. About the pigs, we can maintain the uh, surroundings 40 degrees Celsius. This depends on the organism um, that we, uh, the cell form which organism that we want to culture. And the most important things in when we want to culture the cells, this is to maintain the environments in the um, no, uh, maintain the no contaminated conditions. So this means that still relies environments.
steroids could be affected by bacteria. They're a serious problem. Or affected by the fungi. And also some kinds of mito or a mycoplasma. So to avoid the these kinds of contaminations, we have the uh, a box like this is the uh, biosafety biosafety box. So we uh, have the sterile light air surrounding this area, so we can maintain the culture the the distal under this or. Um, our safety equipment like this, and also are in the laminar flow hood. And also we added antibiotics inside our culture mediums to prevent uh, the bacteria contaminations. So whenever we have the contaminated with the fungi or mycoplasma, we just trust our, our, our cell culture this because it's uncurable. And another type of contamination this be cross contaminations. So or it's may leading to the full scientist conclusion. So imagine that when I culture the HeLa cells, when I culture the HeLa cell, the cell, the first cell is are isolated or established cells are in, in the world. But in general, I also culture the or have two cells. So one kind of the liver cancer cell life. When I culture them it, at the same time, and there's some the technical problems, we can mix them together. So it's leading to the cross contamination, so we cannot use them anymore. So we can look to uh, the, the morphologies to uh, distinguish that there is the cross contamination on, on us. So if yes, there is cross contamination, we need to trust all of these uh, cell line, okay? So it's all about the um, mammalian cell cultures. We need to provide the environment that's not sorry, similar to similarity to the uh, the animals or um, but uh, the animals bodies or environments. So uh, in the um, <clears throat> Second part, I will introduce or that's how we can culture the bacteria. I remember my previous lessons. This only less than 2% of the bacteria and archaea bacteria can culture. Archaea is unculturable, but less than 2% of the bacteria are cultivable. And to culture bacteria cells is, or so most of the bacteria cells are the cells in our intestines because we know exactly what they need. So uh, in the most case, we are um, we use the agar to culture the bacteria. We add the or um, in the st first sterile life place to or be sure that we are not contaminated with another bacterial strains, and we need to sterilize the medium, and we. <clears throat> We mix our uh, we our swords and mix the um, these kinds of mediums, um, and then we can incubate the bacterial strain here. Some kinds of colonies is grow uh, on the mediums. Uh, actually, this one's colonized here. This is one uh, is was uh, originated from just one bacteria, so they can grow to make a colonize. This is the technique that's how we can spread or a, a, um, a place methods that we can uh, put some kind of the suspensions containing the materials here in the, the centers and then we can do this. Um, this is stuff to uh, spread um, 
the um uh, or the, this suspensions uh, to uh, cover the surfaces of the agar plexiger and then we can incubate uh, so it will counter the bacteria from the human as we can incubate like in the 70 degree and then this kind of pronize we grow on the surface medium and another type of the um, um bacteria cell culture is that we can culture suspension culture Oh, sorry, I'm sure too bad. So in here, suspension cultures also. We put the materials inside the medium, but in the liquid medium, and then we can or, provide them nutrition and incubate them in the appropriate um, temperatures, less or just uh, one, one day, and then we can collect numbers of the bacteria inside this flask, like this. It is or, the petri dish, and this is in flask. This is a petri dish. Petri dish to counter the bacteria in agar in the solid surface, and the, in the flask, we can counter the bacteria in the liquid. Uh, medium. And for the next, I will introduce how we can culture the viruses. Uh, to culture the virus, or uh, firstly, we need to isolate the virus from um, the pathogens. So, unlike the bacteria, many or which can be grows on artificial nutrition mediums, virus is, is not many is the bacteria, many in numbers, but not in the percentage of the bacteria. So the virus requires a host cells. So the host cells. So we only culture the virus in the host cells because they are not living organism, right? So a <clears throat> the infected the hot cells can be cultured and grows and then um, the grow medians can have estes at the source of the virus and the the virus in the liquid mediums can separate from the hot cells by centrifugations by centrifugations or filtrations For the filtration uh, centrifugations we use or uh, is based on uh, the different molecule weights between the viruses and the host cell because you know that the viruses is uh, have the they have very low molecule weights compared to the host cell. We use centrifugation to separate them. Or uh, another method we call the filtrations. It means that uh, we can use the filters papers is our uh, physically remove anything preventing the or in, present in the solution uh, that rather than the virus. So these membrane filters can be used to remove the cells of virus from a solution. In the, the picture A here, in the picture A, you, you can see numerous of the um, bacteria in the root cell that have been captured from the surface of the cell membrane filter. So in the picture B here, so you can see that in the first step, <coughs> um, or because the size of the port in the filters, we determine what is captured on the surface or uh, of the filters. So you can see that the animals, so animal cells, animal cells in red, bacteria in blue. and the virus in green. So in the B1, when you're the printer paper is with the bigger sign that's five micrometers, uh, the animal cell will stop here, they stop here. So in the solution, we can collect only bacteria in the virus. But in the picture B2, when the pore size is um, you know, surrounding 0 0.2 micrometers, the bacteria will stop here. 
bacterials and also the animal cells stuck here. So in the liquid solution, we have only the virus. For this, this will be magnifying them. The, sorry, the, part, the size of the pores is quite small, so the material will stuck there. So the purpose of the culture of the virus, we can identify and diagnose the pathogenic virus in clinical or specimens. Or um, we can produce some kinds of vaccines to or prevent the virus. And also is more safe for the basic research study. <clears throat> how, so how we can culture the virus? We culture the virus in the host cells so we both culture the virus in vitro and in vivo. So in vitro, that's we are, um, we have a super type of flask here. They use to culture the human or animal cells for the viral culturing. And on the right, we have the place containing the bacterial phase T4 grows in the um, E. coli um, launch and we have the one, two, and three here. So in the picture number three, so when the um, the host bacterial cell have been slided, the virus um, turns increase on the place in the place number three here. Numerous of the virus um, slides these the host cells. So we have no more or colonized of the bacteria here. So the number of virus just increase in this arouse. And here this flask for culture the uh, human or animal cells. So it's also the viruses affected here. After that, we can uh, collect the uh, culture mediums in this flask and we uh, do a filtration like the previous um, slides to collect the virus, okay? And uh, for the second way, we can culture the virus that we can culture them in vivo. And the more efficient way to culture the virus in vitro, uh, in vivo, that we can culture the virus on eggs. The cell within the chicken eggs are used to culture different types of viruses. And most of the influenza vaccines is ma or manufacturers for a, uh, a neural flu vaccination program is cultures in the hands eggs. So the eggs aren't for the breakfast only, so they could be the source for your common flu shot. And somehow that's people allergies with the eggs, uh, they refuse to influenza vaccines because they could have the algaes with this kind of vaccines because they were produced by uh, culturing this kind of virus on the eggs. Um, so do you think that the coronavirus can culture in the eggs? The hands eggs. What about the coronavirus? Can we culture them on the, uh, in an eggs? Or CP. Or CP. Or, uh, pardon, I can hear, I cannot hear you. I mean, possibly. Possibly. But uh, in fact, <laughs> when the coronavirus pandemic spread, the scientists and governments around the world, they really want or to develop vaccines, but X wouldn't be the answer. No X for the coronavirus. So we meet troubles, or we go to. It's just because they having a different receptors and other characteristics, so the coronavirus isn't are able to replicate inside an X. Like the way the flu viruses can. So, um, 
weakens or pushes a non F alternative way to culture it. We call the non F alternative way to uh, multiply these kinds of coronavirus to produce the vaccines, right? So the non X, we have the first, we have the mRNA vaccine, right? mRNA vaccines, like we have the Pfizer, we have a Moderna. And we have also another kind of vaccine that's new, the or safe viruses that but bring the genetics materials of the coronavirus, like we have the AstraZeneca, right? Uh, but the last we have one type of cell doing or, or another type or um, the vaccine coronavirus. We have mRNAs like Pfizer, Moderna. We have AstraZeneca. We use the safe viruses like retrovirus, but bring the genetic materials of the of the bacteria. But the last things, the last way we can produce the vaccines, you know which way? No. Which? I don't know. Oh, I cannot hear you. Sorry. Can you repeat? No, I just want to say I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, the vaccine from China. Remember? We have the virus, the virus cell, we have a Sinopharms, right? The last things. Do you know how they produce these kinds of vaccines? <clears throat> you know this what's come from the virus cells. There is a virus cells. Actually, the virus cells is, is not the X cells. We use another cell type to, um, to use them as the host for the virus. And in the coronavirus, they use the virus cells. Actually, they are virus cells. The real or the vaccine, those, the name of this vaccine also. The virus cells, they are for um, uh, they actually are uh, kidneys, epithelial cells for a monkey, the viral cells, the kidney cells for monkeys, they can use to um, culture the coronavirus. And for that, we can or produce the or, um, inactive um, coronavirus and to or, uh, use them as a vaccine. So this tells why we produce the coronavirus vaccines. <clears throat> so this is how we can culture the animal cells, or we can culture the our bacterial cells, and also the virus. So what should be the application of the cell culture? We can use as a model system. Model system to avoid the uses of the animals for the preliminary studies. So it's quite true because we cannot use the animals to perform the study. So it's our um, imagine that as how many animals that we can use for people for using one research is so many. So it's expensive and for ethics in science, they will say no, right? We can use, cannot use thousands of animals for one research. So. Uh, to culture the animals uh, cells, or it could be um, a motor system to advise to use numbers of animals for a preliminary studies. Uh, it actually works in my laboratories. We use numbers of cell cultures to test the drugs. Um, um, <clears throat> so we call them the preliminary studies. If we have the good results, we can move to the staff and we can use the uh, in vivo. So if we use animals to test our compounds. And also we test the effect of drug or uh, the test or toxicities. We test the tip of therapeutic effects on the cancer cell lines. We use for tissue and our engineering. We use for the uh, vaccine and the antibodies, we study replicate cell cycles of the viruses, uh, embryo culture production of the therapeutic protein is actually, we use the animal cell for numerous purposes. And it's quite important to the research, especially for the research of the drug.
because we cannot test this, these kinds of drugs directly on humans or directly in, in animals. Uh, this, uh, in the next part of the, my lessons, we studied about the plants, tissue cultures. It's about the animals, bacterias, and virus. And how about we can culture the plant tissue? So <clears throat> whenever you want to produce something or to culture something, you need to provide the suitable environments for them. So for the plants cultures, plant tissue cultures, we need to provide the nutrition mediums. We need to provide the aseptic conditions. And uh, we are um, aeration of the tissues. So uh, what? This is the process that we can culture the plant tissues that we take some more tissues model. But uh, for um, apicus meristem <coughs> of the plant, we put them on the mediums that is solid medium in agar medium here, agar medium, and putting all the nutrition here for the plant's tissue can grow. And then we can put numerous of the hormones to um, differentiate, to promote from the tissues becomes a, a whole plant cells. And we can do it for the plants. It's like our stem cells, right? It's similar to stem cells because this one piece, one small part, they can become a whole body organisms, right? Just because the plant cells, they have two characteristics of the stem cells. We have a tardy potencies and also the plasticity. So tardy potencies is the ability of the cell that can generate the whole plants from the single cells, the tissues by continuous divisions. And only part of the plant cell is meristem, have the tardy potencies. Các đỉnh sinh trưởng của thực vật ấy mới có cái tính năng này. Where we have a silence and the cock cell, they are not this our ability to divide, so we can, they don't have the tardy potency abilities. <coughs> and also, what about the plastic cities? When the plant cell and the tissues are cultured in vitro, they are generally exhibit a very high degree of plasticity that allows one type of tissues or organs be initiated from another type or under the influence of the chemicals or stimuli. So in this way, the whole plants can be or subsequently regenerate. So we can use, we can apply the plant tissue culture for the micro preparations, and we can culture the cells in very, is very high rate. We can produce a disease free, free plant and is less expensive. So here is a pictures that we can use to our um, our micro propagations of the one plant cell. That's one I take the stamina for um, uh, flowers of the um, cacao tree and put them on the mediums to make the colors. For the, make the colors here are actually the colors eat the uh, undifferentiated mass of tissue that can grow into the completed plants. And here they have the uh, total potency, right? They like stem cell the plants using the colors, gummo cell. And from the colors, I put some hormone to generate the embryo <clears> of <throat> the plant cells. I take some kinds of embryos to put another are uh, mediums and, and by the last step I will have the complete uh, um, plant trees. So in this case I put some kinds of the grow hormones here for the grow hormones. I put so many grow hormones.
grow hormone here to have, so they could produce the root here. We have a completely deep plant cells. Like the alcyon, uh, they can in, in initiate the root formation. Um, cytokinin leads to the source formation. So we put so many, uh, so many growth hormone here to have a completed plant. So uh, I made this picture. So I made this picture. So um, on my bachelor degrees, I uh, I worked in microbiology, so I can culture the bacteria cells. And my major in my master degrees is um, in plants biotechnology. So this picture is what I work is come from. I take them for my um, my um, master thesis. I or, um, I made a uh, GMOs genetically modify our plants or um, uh, and transfer some gene into this plant and. In my PhD thesis, I worked in the toxic toxicology field in the field of toxicology. So I worked in the animal plants, the cultures, both in vitro and in vivo. So, or, in, or for the next purpose of the plant tissue cultures, we use for the secondary metabolite productions. So, or about the hairy root. Or um, the compounds produced under the control conditions, quality of the product will be consistent. <clears throat> and production of novel compounds or, or is um, takes less time and is um, or is more cheaper is compared to our labor cost. We can minimize the labor cost when you use the healthy roots cultures. So heritage cultures, we also call them the transform, the root cultures. And it's one type of plant tissue culture that's used to study the plant's metabolic process or to produce uh, valuable secondary metabolite or recombinant proteins. So we can transfer the genes into the hairy roots. We can culture them. This is the hairy roots. We can culture them in uh, large scales. And then we can uh, receive so many secondary metabolite productions. Uh, for example, um, I can give you some examples. Generative cleaning. Generative cleaning. Cleaning, thuốc cleaning. Đây là một loại thuốc rất là cần trong chiến tranh mà <cười> ai mà bị uh, như sốt rét đúng không? Ai mà không có cái liều kín ninh này thì cũng coi như là chưa chết vì chiến tranh thì đã chết vì sốt rét rồi và kín ninh. And uh, in the part they can extract from the plants, but now you can culture the hairy root, the root from plants, and we can extract the kin from them. And also I ginseng size or ginseng. So we can attract only valuable compounds from this plant by culture. There's transform root. And for the next is maybe is quite familiar with you. DMOs genetically modifies organisms. Are they familiar with this? Sinh vật biến đổi gen. This is the, um, <clears throat> the other combination between the bacteria and plants. We have a very specific bacteria. This is Agrobacterium tumorphosians. And yes, they do have some kinds of plasmid. And in the uh, agro, um, Agrobacterium tumorphosians, we have one plasmid, we call the TI's plasmid. That's we can <clears throat> cut this kinds of plasmids and insert the gene from plants here to make a recombining TI plasmids. We transfer back these plasmids into the or um, this kinds of bacterium. And these bacterium is used to insert the tDNA carry the foreign genes into chromosome of plant cells. 
we transfer into the plant tissue here. And then we take this guy, the plant cells to our micro propagation to have the completed GMO. Thus, we have been modified the genetic material of this plant. That's why we call them the GMO. And most of the case GMOs is or um, so my question is, do you know the pros and cons of the GMOs? Do you think it's safe? Do you think that is necessary for um, for the mankind or not? You're a fan of the GMO or not? If you have the products that labor, this GMO products, are in, you happy to use this or you will deny it? Yes, it means that you are happy with the GMO or not. You happy? <laughs> so in the, in, I think there is uh, the pros and cons of GMO is still debatable. Like, or knows in people in the Western countries tend to avoid these kinds of plants. So. It are uh, debatable, but for me, um, who works or uh, who <laughs> has been created one GMOs, um, I think it's fifty pities because without GMO, it is some kinds, so number as a people is uh, dies because of starvation, you know. Numbers of the food in the um, now in the way they were produced by the GMOs to increase the um, <clears throat> the years of the uh, of the foods without GMOs is maybe some country as or actually in the Africa they will be dead. There's no more food for them. In somehow GMO is quite um, I don't know. I think they are, in, in some respect of life, they are useful. So, from, yes, they mostly are afraid that think that they are mutant foods. Or maybe in the future, we can think we can find or some evidence, but now it's not really um, strong. And Two choice between or uh, you or days because of no foods and eat the GMOs and you can have the better lives. We have no choice of this. Oh no, so <clears throat> no okay. No Monday for choice for two days. Do you have any questions about the lessons? Uh, I will send you a, uh, a link for it. Send you the link.
Because today is a Sunday. Các bạn có câu hỏi gì về bài này không ạ? <cười> Hôm nay mình chỉ học 2 tiếng nhưng đây là buổi học cuối cùng. À, tôi đang tìm. Class, do you have any questions for these lessons? These are our last lessons. Yes, after that, you have a tutor lesson. You have a, a tutor a tutorial class. One tutor class or tutorial class, three hours. No attendance checks. If you are willing to come, just come. No attendance checks for the practical class. Uh, tutorial class, sorry. À, vì cô đang tìm link và thực ra là hôm nay hết giờ vì đáng nhẽ mình sẽ có um, <cười> mình có giờ ra chơi nhưng mà quá giờ ra chơi rồi thì các bạn cứ nói thoải mái đi đường chat nữa vì cô đang tìm cái link này. sorry cô sẽ không đọc được cái chat của các bạn Okay. <cười> Orange. Bây giờ cô sẽ gửi cho các bạn đường link để các bạn làm uh, attend and check lần cuối nha. Export. No. Okay. 